Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Cherry Field, the home of the champion Tucson Badgers, and the championship contest of the 2013 Moon Memorial Baseball. Our championship game pits the Rancho Rams from Las Vegas, Nevada, versus the local Tucson Badgers. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet the coaches and players for both teams beginning with the guest team on the scoreboard, the Rancho Rams. Head coach, Tom Pletch. Assistant coaches, Mike Evans. And Brandon Pletch. And now the non-starters for the Rams. Number seven, Cole Green. Number 10, Josh Mill. Number 32, Gabe Villanueva. Number 34, Chris Fitzpatrick. And number 42, Max Cruz. Leading off today for the Rams, playing right field number three, Bryce Harrell. Batting second, number five, left fielder Eric Allen. Batting third, number 44, third baseman Jose Verdugo. In the cleanup position, number 35, pitcher Kiefer McClendon. Fifth, number four, shortstop David Modler. Batting six, number two, second baseman Alex Jordan. Batting seventh, number 36, first baseman Andrew Weiger. Batting eighth and catching, number 21, Zach Barnhart. Batting ninth, designated hitter Braulio Santiago. Santiago will be batting for number nine, center fielder Richmond Ashworth. Ladies and gentlemen, coaches, non-starters and starters for the Rams. And now the coaching staff, non-starters and starters for your Tucson! Romero. Assistant coaches Mark Morris, Steve Perry, and Tommy Vega. Not starters today for the Badgers, number 12, Michael Paran. Number 13, Hector Alcaraz. Number 9, Ryan Noritz. Number 25, Gerardo Fernandez. Number 20, Miguel Figueroa. Number 18, Alexander Carrillo. Number 7, Kevin Samaniego. Number 16, Jacob Tapete. Number 8, Adrian Acuna. Number 22, Martin Picochea. And number 23, Raymond Barton. Leading off for the Badgers. Number 15, second baseman, Emilio Melendez. Batting second, number 4, Left fielder, Ivan Estrella. Batting third, number five. Correction, batting third, number three. Third baseman, Francisco Rodriguez. In the cleanup position, number five. Starting pitcher, Alex Robles. 
Batting fifth, number 17, first baseman, Felipe Parata. Batting sixth, number 14, designated hitter, Jesse Robles. Batting seventh, correction, batting sixth, number two, center fielder, Alex Romero. Batting seventh, number six, right fielder, Isaac Federico. Batting eighth, number one, shortstop, Tyler Johnson. And batting ninth, number 24, catching Marco Bustamante. Ladies and gentlemen, your coaches, starters and non-starters for the Badgers. And good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Cherry Field in Tucson. Todd Garbison for Southwest Sports Network. It's play-by-play -play coverage in the 2013 Chris Moon Memorial Cherry Field Classic, and it's the championship game, and it features the Rancho Rams from Las Vegas and the host, Tucson Badgers. And we are underway in the top of the first inning uh, by way of the coin toss, Tucson, the home team, so Rancho leading off with uh, their right fielder, Bryce Harrell. Norell had taken the first two pitches for a ball. The next one over for a strike. Two and one the count. Each of these teams perfect in tournament play. They each went 3-0 and in their respective pools. And each team with a semifinal win yesterday as Harrell takes inside and it's three balls and one strike. And a 3-1 pitch. Yeah, pretty close, maybe a little bit high for a ball, and Harrell walks to begin the ball game. Now batting number five, left fielder Eric Allen. Now Eric Allen, the left fielder for the Rancho Rams. Alex Robles gets the start in the championship game for the Badgers. The bunt on, and the ball bunted to the backstop. And that's strike one. So it's Harrell, Allen, and then Jose Verdugo, the top third for the Rancho Rams. Kiefer McClendon, David Modler, Alec Jordan, the middle third. Andrew Weiger, Zach Barnhart, Braulio Santiagin, the bottom third. Ball misses for a ball, and it's one and one. Runner at first base, nobody out, just underway in the top of the first inning championship game. Throw to first base, a little bit closer over there, but again, the runner able to dive back. They had two strikes on the scoreboard. They thought it... Uh, was a good pitch as well, but uh, again, a little bit high as that ball thrown over to first base trickles away, but the runner does not try to advance. So Harrell still at first base, one and one the count on Eric Allen. The one one, runner bluffs and does not go and the pitch is over for a strike and it's one and two. Steps off. Right back up quickly in the 1-2 pitch. Swung on and missed. And Allen strikes out. And there's one out in the top of the first. So Rancho went 3-0 in pool play. And then a semifinal win yesterday. And the ground ball, that's foul outside of third base. It went over sunny side of the semifinals for the Rancho Rams. I set the defense for Tucson. Ivan Estrella is in left field. Alex Romero in center field. Isaac Federico in right field. Francisco Rodriguez at third base. Tyler Johnson is shortstop. So we get another throw over to first base. And at second base, Emilio Melendez and Felipe Peralta at first base. Marco Bustamante catching Alex Robles. And 
Pitch to Verdugo up and in for a ball. It's one and one. The one one. That's a swing and a miss, and it's one ball and two strikes. This is the culmination of the uh, four-day tournament here in Tucson held at Cherry Field. As the runner goes, swing and a miss, throw to second base, and it's a strike him out, throw him out, double play to end the Rancho half of the first inning. And after a half inning of play, it's the Rams nothing and the Badgers coming up. Emilio Melendez steps in to lead it off for the Badgers in the bottom of the first inning, and he takes strike one from Kiefer McClendon. I'm trying to bunt there and bunting through it for a strike in the count of 1-2. Go to pitch. Up it in for a ball, one and two. So it's Melendez, Estrella, Rodriguez for the Badgers. Top third of the order. Then Alex Robles, Peralta, Jesse Robles, the middle third. Federico Johnson, Bustamante, the bottom third for the Badgers. The one two pitch. Hit down the right field line. If it's fair, it's going to be trouble. It uh, hangs up though. And it's caught. And as we've mentioned a couple of times, it's uh, tough into that foul territory for us here with that uh, scores canopy in front. Number four, left fielder, Ivan Estrella. Now Ivan Estrella, the left fielder for the Badgers. First pitch low and outside for ball one. The defense for the Rams, Allen, Ashworth, Harrell in the outfield. Verdugo, Mondler, Jordan, Weiger in the infield, third to first. Barnhart catching McClendon. The 0 1. That's outside, and it's two balls and no strikes. One out base is empty. Home half of the first inning, no score. In the Chris Moon Memorial Championship game 2013. The 2 0 pitch is high for a ball, 3 0. Three balls, no strikes on Estrella. Francisco Rodriguez next for Tucson. And the 3-0. And that's bounced in ball four. So after a fly ball down the right field line caught, McClendon walks Estrella on four straight. Number three, third baseman, Francisco Rodriguez. And one on and one out for Francisco Rodriguez. First pitch over the outside corner for a strike. Tucson went 3-0 in their pool games, and they beat Ralston Valley in the semifinals. And a ball fouled out of play down the right side, and it's 0-2. first base and the runner back. Although I don't think that the ball was put back in play yet. Nothing in two on Rodriguez. Now we're ready to get back to action. The set, the turn, and the throw to first base. And it's a safe call on Estrella at first. Ball 
Ball sliced down the right field line. Foul. And we stay at 0-2. One on and one out in the bottom of the first. This is our eighth and final game of coverage here in the Chris Moon Memorial. Jerry Field Classic, another throw to first, and again the runner back. We had three pool games on Tuesday, three pool games Wednesday. One game yesterday in the consolation brackets. And today's championship game, and another one they hit to down the right field line. And they throw back in quickly after the catch is made for the second out, and there's two down. Number five, uh, Alex, Alex Robles, the Robles. pitcher for the Badgers. Rancho got a leadoff walk in the top of the first inning, lost that runner on a caught steel wing to end the first. Runner goes, the pitch high, and no throw as Barnhart wasn't able to get a grip on the baseball. So a steal puts a runner in scoring position for Tucson here in the first. And there's a ground ball, and that's a base hit into left field. Runner's going to be waved around. The throw coming to the plate. It's going to be a play at the plate, and out the call as the tag applied. The throw on the money from Allen, and Barnhart keeps his nose in there to apply the tag. Robles credited with a base hit, and then Estrella thrown out 7-2 to two to end the Badger first inning. No runs on one hit plus a walk. A runner thrown out at the plate, and one runner left. And after one, there's no score. Kiefer McClendon going after the first one, knocked down at third base. The throw across the diamond to first, and the uh, tag applied. It was a little bit high. Peralta came down and slapped the glove on the back of McClendon going by. And a little bit of a rocky 5-3 ground out, but a ground out nonetheless as the Badgers retire McClendon to begin the second inning. Number four, shortstop and the batter David is Modler. David Modler. And Mundler going after the first one, fouls it out of play, and that's strike one. The wide and the 0-1. That's a swing and a miss, and it's 0-2. Alex Jordan next for the Rams, the 0-2. On the outside corner, a called third strike. And Mondler punched out. That's the third strike out for Robles. And now he'll face Alex Jordan. Number two, second baseman Alex Jordan. A swung and a miss for a strike. And the 0 1. Well, that looked pretty good. He called a ball, and it's 1 and 1. Back to the line of the 1-1 one, one pitch. There's a swing and a miss. And it's 1-2. and two. two outs, bases empty, top of the second inning, no score. Robles back up there and ready. Jordan waving the bat back and forth now. Puts it up on his shoulder, and the 1-2 is a swing and a miss. And Robles back-to-back -back strikeouts in the second inning. He's got four through the first two innings. And after an inning and a half in the championship game of the Chris Moon Memorial Cherry Field Classic, there's no score. Five, six, and seven in the order for the Badgers. 
in the second inning. Felipe Peralta takes strike one. It's Peralta, Jesse Robles, Isaac Federico for the Badgers in inning number two. McClendon into the wine and the one strike pitch. And that's grounded over to the right side. Jordan with it. And on to Weiger at first base. 4-3 ground out. And the leadoff hitter retired in the Badgers' second inning. And the batter is Jesse Robles. Robles, the DH today, batting for the center fielder, Alex Romero. Designated hitter, Jesse Robles. First pitch to Robles misses for ball one. And the 1 0. And that one fouled to the screen. It's one ball and one strike. Blended with the 1-1 pitch. And that's high for a ball, 2-1. And, and the 1 and the 2-1 offering. And that's bounced in there, three balls and a strike. And we're seeing each of these teams for the second time. Tucson's game against Bear Creek back in the opening day of the tournament. As Robles fouls that one off, and it's three and two. And we saw Rancho beat Ralston Valley in a good ball game a couple of nights ago. That was the final pool game. 5-4 final in that one. The 3-2. And that's low for ball four. So Robles with a one-out walk. Better is Isaac Federico. Number six, right fielder Isaac Federico. Better Rico in there and ready with one on and one out at the bottom of the second inning. Scoreless ball game in the championship game as the first pitch is high for ball one. One zero pitch over the outside corner of strike and it's one and one. Jesse Robles aborted first base with one out for the Badgers. Clinton ready, the one one. That's outside and low. Two balls in a strike. Check of the runner, the 2-1. And on a hit and run, the ball fouled out of play, or back to the backstop anyway, and it's 2-2. Two and two. And a 2-2. Two -two. And that's fouled out of play on the first base side. Count stays two balls and two strikes. Tyler Johnson next for Tucson. And a 2-2. Two -two. This is high, three balls and two strikes. Well, now do you send the runner? We saw Robles go 
on a hit and run earlier in the count. Now three balls and two strikes with one out and see if they decide to put him in motion here. Yeah, the turn and the he was going is uh, they've got him hung up. Oh, and the ball hits him in the back, and that'll get him uh, to second base safely. So the uh, first baseman, Weiger, didn't uh, step inside of the runner enough there, threw it down to second. Would have been a 1-3-6 on the play, but instead the ball hits Robles in the back, and he's safe at second base. So a little break there for the Badgers, and we'll see if Tucson can capitalize. Three and two on Federico, but now a runner in scoring position with one away. And a pitch fouled out of play by Federico. Check back to second base, another 3-2 pitch. And a line drive, and that's into center field for a base hit. Robles going to be waved around. The throw from Ashworth into the middle of the diamond and cut off, and the Badgers are on the board. Tucson scores a run on an RBI single from Isaac Federico. one nothing Badgers in the bottom of the second inning. No. And timeout from the... Rancho dugout, we play in the bottom of the second, one nothing Badgers. Tyler Johnson, the shortstop in for the Badgers. One on, one out, one in for Tucson, and the first one over for a strike. Out of the one strike pinch. And a ground ball hits slowly out to Model the shortstop. He'll go to second, safe there, and the throw gets away at first base. Well, and Federico had started to come off the bag. He thought he was out at second base. So, uh, Modeler trying to go the short way, but a slow hit ball, and Federico hustling to get to second base. That'll be a failed fielder's choice, and it puts two aboard with only one out. And the batter, Marco Bustamante. And the first one on the inside corner, a strike. And then took a little off there. And a pitch high for a ball, and it's one and one. Bounced in there for a ball, and it's two and one. Federico at second, Johnson at first, with one out for the Badgers in the bottom of the second inning. They lead one to nothing. The two one pitch, yeah, and a swing and a miss. That went up out of the strike zone. And I guess maybe got a piece of it as they indicate a foul ball, and it's two and two. Emilio Melendez, the leadoff hitter for the Badgers in the on deck circle. And a two two. High for a ball, three and two. And the 
again, this is a situation where Tucson could try to force the issue uh, some and get uh, both runners going. Three and two with one out. The runners don't go, and the pitch bounced in there for ball four. Courtesy runner coming on for the catcher. Runner for the catcher, Bustamante, at first base, number eight, Adrian Acuna. That's Adrian Acuna running at first base for Tucson. Bases loaded for the Badgers and one out, a run into the bottom of the second Emilio inning. Melendez. And the batter, Emilio Melendez. And the first pitch over for a strike. Tucson already with a run here in the second inning, but now with the bases loaded and one out, you want to get greedy. Put a crooked number up here in the bottom of the second, the one strike pitch. That's over for a strike on the outer half of the plate, and it's 0-2. The 0-2 pitch and a ground ball. Going to get the out at second base. The throw on to first is not in time, and that will get another run in. An RBI fielder's choice for Melendez makes it 2-0 Badgers. Federico scores. Johnson to third. Bustamante's courtesy runner Acuna is the one that's forced at second base. It's a 6-4 force, and Melendez aboard on the fielder's choice. Now Ivan Estrella with runners at first and third and two away in the inning. Estrella walked his first time up. And going after the first one, fouls it out of play on the right side. No balls in a strike on Estrella. And then trying to pitch out of further trouble. Steps to third, throws to first, and the runner back. And the one strike pitch fouled out of play. Got in on the handle of the bat, and the count goes to 0 2. 2-0 Tucson, an RBI single from Isaac Federico, and an RBI fielder's choice from Emilio Melendez. And the Badgers up 2-0 in the bottom of the second. Federico with that uh, base hit also came around to score. Johnson at third, Melendez at first. And a breaking ball over for a called third strike to end the inning with the Badgers on the board first as they score two times on a base hit. And they leave two after two innings of play. It's Tucson two and Rancho nothing. Bottom third of the order for the Rams in the third. Andrew Weiger with a swing and a miss for a strike. Weiger, Barnhart, and Santia Gain for Rancho High School out of Las Vegas. The one strike pitch. Swing and a miss, and it's 0-2. Robles into the wind and the pitch. And a swing and a foul tip. And a strikeout, number five for Robles. Weiger the first down of the Rancho third inning, and the batter, Zach Barnhart. Now batting number 21, pitcher, Zach Barnhart. And a tapper to the pitcher Robles, who will step and throw to Peralta at first base. And there's two away. Two outs. Base is empty for Braulio Santiago. He bats for the Rancho center fielder, Richmond Ashworth, as the first one is low for ball one. Next 
This one misses two balls and no strikes. Robles to the line and the 2 0. That's on the outside corner of strike, and it's 2 and 1. Robles back to it, the 2 1 pitch. They get a swing and a miss, it's 2 and 2. Robles locked in here, he's right back up and ready. Into the line and the 2 2 pitch. And a ground ball out to the second baseman, Melendez. On to Peralta at first. And it's another three up, three down inning for the Rams. We go to the bottom of the third inning. Rancho trails Tucson, two to nothing. Three, four, and five of the order for the Badgers in the bottom of the third inning. Francisco Rodriguez leads off and takes the first pitch low for a ball. Francisco Rodriguez, Alex Robles, Felipe Peralta for the Badgers in the third. The 1 0 pitch. On the outside corner, a strike from McClendon, and it's 1 and 1. Now the line of the 1 1 pitch. And that's a little bit high. Two balls in a strike. Rodriguez with a fly out to. Harrell in right field back in the first inning. Now the 2 1. And that's fouled off. Two balls, two strikes to count. Two and two on Rodriguez starting the bottom of the third inning for Tucson. And the pitch. And a breaking ball on the inside corner, and I think Rodriguez knew it there. You could see him kind of scrunch up there, knowing that he missed an opportunity on that pitch. Second strikeout for McClendon. In fact, back-to-back -back strikeouts now as he got a strikeout to end the second and a strikeout to start the third. Here's Alex Robles. And the first one outside for ball one. Robles had a base hit back in the first inning. Now the 1-0. And a nice breaking ball over for a strike. It's 1-1. One one. The wind and the 1-1 pitch. Laid off for a ball, 2-1. Two one pitch, and that hit hard over on the left side, deflected by Verdugo, the third baseman, as he laid out for it. And now that throw is going to go uh, into the middle of the infield again. Rancho not sharp here, throwing the ball around some, but uh, Robles content to stay at first base with a one out single. Kevin Samaniego on to run at first base as a courtesy runner. One on and one out for Felipe Peralta, who grounded out his first time up. Now batting first baseman Felipe Peralta. First one to Peralta, misses high and away for ball one. And the 1 0 pitch. Runner goes, the pitch over for a strike, a throw to second base. And the tag applied, the runner caught stealing. San Diego caught 2-6 on the caught stealing play. And that erases the Badger base runner. Oh, 
One ball, one strike. They count on Peralta. And he takes a pitch low for a ball. And they two one pitch. That's high, three and one. McClendon with a nod into the wind he goes in the three one pitch. Over for a strike, it's three and two. Wind and the 3 2. And that's low for ball four. So Peralta with a two out walk. It's the fourth walk of the game for McClendon. And Peralta on first base for Jesse Robles. Jesse Robles. Robles with a walk, a steal, and a run in the second inning. First pitch, low for ball one. Runner at first, two away, bottom of the third inning, Tucson leading Rancho two to nothing. And the pitch outside, two balls and no strikes. Throw goes to first and the runner back. The runner goes on a hit and run and the ball fouled off. Robles had to reach way out there. That pitch well outside of the strike zone. I don't know if it was a pitch out or just a uh, Location missed that uh, that wide of the plate, and it may have been a pitch out. They might have guessed right. Turn and throw to first base, and the runner back. Two balls and a strike. Two outs. A runner at first base in the bottom of the third. Badgers leading the Rams two to nothing. The two one pitch is high for a ball three and one. Clendon ready with the set. Boy, a runner started early there. And a fortunate that he slammed on the brakes and McClendon stepped off but couldn't do anything about it as Peralta was already back to first and now a throw over and he dives back. And the runner goes, that's ball four. So Peralta goes to second anyway as Robles walks and the batter is Isaac Federico. Two on with two outs for the Badgers in the bottom of the third, leading two to nothing. And a chance to add to it here if they can get a two-out base hit. But first a timeout from the Rancho dugout. Again, we play in the bottom of the third. It's two nothing Tucson. Pitching change for the Rams as Josh Mill is on to try to get out of the third inning, and he gets the first pitch over to Isaac Federico for a strike. The 0-1, and a comebacker, Mill has it. He'll step and throw to first base, and that will end the inning. So Mill comes on, throws two pitches, and gets the final out. And the Badgers are turned away in the third. No runs on one hit. Two walks in the inning, two runners left. And after three, it's still Tucson 2, 
And Rancho nothing. Top of the order for the Rancho Rams in the top of the fourth inning. Bryce Harrell going after the first one. Fouls it out of play on the right field side. Now the 0 1. And a breaking ball over for a strike, and it's 0 and 2. Into the one and the two strike pitch. Oh, right back uh, up the middle, soft liner, but uh, caught by Robles, and there's one away. Now, Eric Allen. now, Eric Allen, the left fielder for the Rams. Allen out in front of the first one to swings through it for a strike. He struck out in the first. The 0 1 pitch. Fastball high, and it's 1 and 1. One one pitch. And a swing and a miss. It's one and two. Rancho's had just one base runner. That was Harrell to lead off the ball game. He walked to start things, but he was caught stealing. And the pitch fouled off and it's one and two. Since then, Robles then has retired nine straight and he's faced the minimum through three and a third. Back to the one of the one two pitch. And yeah, he went around there, I believe. They'll check. And he did go around. So Allen strikes out. Second out in the Rancho fourth inning and strikeout number six for Alex Robles. And the batter is Jose Verdugo. Third baseman, Jose Verdugo. Dugo coming out of his shoes on the first one. Big swing there. That one came all the way around. You could hear it thump off his back. The 0 1. That's bounced in. One ball and one strike. Rams trailing 2 0 as they hit in the top of the fourth inning. And the 1 1. And that hit down the right field line. And a foul ball. <laughs> One ball, two strikes on Verdugo. If he's able to reach Kiefer McClendon, will bat next. As McClendon did stay in the ball game and moved over to first base. Neil came in for Weiger in the lineup. The breaking ball is high, and it's two and two. The two-two over the outside corner. A called third strike, and the Rams done in the fourth inning. Another three up, three down inning. Seven strikeouts for Robles through four innings of play, and we go to the bottom of the fourth from Cherry Field in Tucson. Rancho trailing the Tucson Badgers two to nothing. Eight, nine, and one in the order for the Badgers as the first one to Tyler Johnson is on the outside corner. The one strike pitch, that's low and it's one and one. Line of the 1-1 one, one pitch. It's bounced in and it's two balls and a strike. Johnson reached out of fielder's choice his first time up. The 
the 2 1 pitch. That's low for a ball, and it's 3 and 1. The unofficial line for Rancho starter Kiefer McClendon. He went two and two-thirds innings, allowed three hits, two runs both earned, five walks, two strikeouts. And a ground ball up the middle, fielded behind the bag and uh, on to first base, and it's in time. So Johnson retired, six to three. Turns into really not a very close play over at first. All the work was done on getting to the ground ball up the middle. And Modler able to do that as he got it behind the bag. So Johnson grounds out and the batter Marco Bustamante. First pitch over for a strike. The wind in the 0-1. It's a swing and a miss, and it's nothing in two. Bustamante walked in the second. Trying to get things started with one out, and the base is empty at the bottom of the fourth. Two nothing Badgers. The 0 2. And a swing and a miss. The ball down in the dirt. They'll clear the runner, and the throw on to first base is in time. And a strikeout. 2-3 put out, retires Bustamante for the second out of the Badger fourth inning, and it's back to the top of the order for Emilio Melendez. Second baseman, Emilio Melendez. Melendez a fly out in the first, and an RBI fielder's choice in the second, trying to bunt his way on here, and he bunts through it for strike one. The 0-1, and that's popped up behind the plate over near the dugout, and uh, the catch is made over there. Again, we're screened on that canopy, but the catch made to retire Melendez, and it's a three-up, three-down inning for the Badgers in the fourth. We head to the fifth inning still, 2-0 two Tucson. McClendon going after the first pitch, and it's a fly ball into right field. Caught by Federico, one pitch and one out in the Rams' fifth. And the batter is David Modler. Now batting shortstop, David Modler. Modler going after the first one, fouls it to the backstop for a strike. one and a swing and a miss. Maybe a backdoor breaking ball there and it's 0-2. Wander called out on strikes his first time up. Down in the count 0-2 here in the fifth with one out. And he fouls it out of play. Back to it, another 0-2, and a swing and a miss, another strikeout. So Modler strikes out, second out of the inning, eighth strikeout for Robles. And the batter is Alex Jordan. Second baseman, Alex Jordan. Jordan struck out to end the second inning. The ground ball foul, wide of third for strike one. One in the 0-1. Over the outside corner a strike. It's nothing in two. Alex 
And a swing and a miss, and a strikeout to end the fifth inning. Nine strikeouts now for Robles through five innings. And Rancho still trails Tucson two to nothing. Two, three, and four in the order for the Badgers in the bottom of the fifth. Ivan Estrella takes a strike. Now the 0 1. It's fouled off. And it's nothing in two. And you get a swing and a miss on an 0-2 pitch. Estrella down on strikes. And that's the first out of the fifth. Second strikeout for Josh Mill. And the fourth strikeout overall for Good Rancho game, Pitchers. Buddy. Let's go, Rodriguez. Francisco Rodriguez takes ball one. Rodriguez, a fly out and a strikeout in two at bats. And a breaking ball. That's over for a strike, and it's one and one. The Badgers with a couple of runs in the second inning, and they got some help from Rancho. And the pitch swung on, fouled off, and it's one and two. And it wasn't errors that helped, just uh, defensive miscues, I guess, but not, uh, not officially errors. One of them was a uh, slow ground ball at... Uh, Hit to the shortstop, Maudler. He tried to go to second base. The throw there was not in time. Instead of throwing across the diamond, to throw out the runner at first. So a failed fielder's choice there. And the one-two. And that's hit on the ground to Maudler. He'll circle around and actually backhands it and throws to first base. And it's in plenty of time. And that's the second out of the fifth inning. Well, clearly Maudler can feel his position out there at short, but I think ideally you want to see a defender take one more step because uh, clearly he had time on the backhand. If he takes one more step to get the body in front, maybe a little better opportunity to feel the ball clean as Robles takes strike one. And again, he made the play on the backhand, so this isn't uh, a knock on the Rancho shortstop just in general. You'd like to see an infielder take one more step to get in front of the ball if they have time to do so. The breaking ball over for a strike. 0-2 on Robles. Bases empty and two outs in the home half of the fifth. And the 0-2 is outside and bounced in there. And they count 1-2. and two. Mill has retired all six he has faced. And a check swing and the ball bounced in there. On the appeal, Robles did not go around. And they count two and two. Federico came on with two runners aboard and two outs in the third and got the final out. A three up, three down fourth, and now the first two hitters retired in the fifth. Mill back up there and ready as Robles is in. The wind of the 2-2 pitch. And a fly ball into right field. Harrell over to his left, under it with the catch. And again, the side is retired. Another three up, three down inning for the Badgers. We've put five of the books from Cherry Field. Tucson still leading Rancho two to nothing in the championship game of the 2013 Chris Moon Memorial Cherry Field Classic. Josh Mill leads off, bats for the first time, and takes low for ball one. Seven, eight, and nine in the order for the Rancho Rams. The 1-0. And then misses for a ball, and it's 2-0. Back to the line, the 2-0 pitch. That's on the outside corner, a strike, and it's 2-1. Top of the sixth inning. Rancho trailing Tucson 2-0. Two to nothing. The 2-1 pitch. 
That's over for a strike, and it's two and two. Robles winds the 2 2 pitch. And oh, off the pitching hand of Robles. And that'll be the first base hit of the ball game for the Rancho Rams. So Mill batting for the first time, single sharply. And I uh, got to make sure, and you hope that uh, Robles is okay. And they're not even going to come out and take a look at him, I guess. So he's smiling, and I guess he's all right to stay in there. Mill will come off for a courtesy runner. Max Cruz will run at first base. So the first base hit of the ball game for the Rancho Rams comes by way of the leadoff hitter in the sixth inning. And now the Rams bring the tying run to the plate in the top of the sixth. They're playing for a run, though, as they get a bunt down. Robles going to throw to second, and they'll get the lead runner. Robles got over there, got to the ball, and had a chance to look out to second base and had a play there. So 1-6 force. Barnhart, the catcher, out on a fielder's choice. Or uh, a board on a fielder's choice, I should say. And then uh, we'll get a courtesy run over there for him at first. So one on and one out in the sixth for Braulio Santiago. Runner for the catcher Barnard at first base number 32, Gabe Villanueva. Now batting designated hitter, Fabio Santiago. Santiago ready. And a swing and a miss for a strike. Gabe Villanueva, the courtesy runner, over at first base. And that ball hit foul over on the right side, and it's 0-2. Rancho trailing 2 to nothing as they bat in the top of the sixth inning. And an easy toss over to first just to make sure that runner knows that uh, Robles has an eye on him. Santi again grounded out to end the third inning. And he hits a ground ball. This time they'll get the out at second. The relay throw to first base is not in time. The lead runner retired. Rodriguez didn't get it clean over there at third base, but uh, knocked it down. Knew he had enough time to go to second base, but just not a, enough time to throw it around the horn. So Santi again aboard on a fielder's choice at first. And two outs in the inning. And it's back to the top of the Rams order for Bryce Harrell, who has walked and lined out. Takes a breaking ball high for ball one. Robles sets the 1-0. And that's fouled off. It's 1-1. One one. Badgers got both of their runs in the bottom of the second inning, an RBI single from Isaac Federico, RBI and a fielder's choice from Emilio Melendez. And that's been our scoring so far. The 1-1. That's high, two balls and a strike. Robles. Been at the waist looking in, now sets in the 2-1 pitch. High again, three balls and a strike. Santi again at first base with two away. The 3-1, taking, and he takes strike two. Now Santi again will run at first base, three and two with two outs. Robles throws easy just in uh, over to first base just in case Santi again was trying to take off early. Eric Allen would be next for the Rams. The set. The runner goes the 3-2 pitch. And a slow ground ball. 
Melendez fields his play as the first base and a throw on to first in time. And Harrell grounds out to end the Rancho sixth inning, but uh, the Rams get their first hit of the ball game against Alex Robles. No runs on one hit, they leave one. And we go to the bottom of the sixth inning, Rancho trailing Tucson, two to nothing. Felipe Peralta, the leadoff hitter in the bottom of the sixth inning for the Badgers. He takes a breaking ball from Josh Mill for ball one. Peralta with a ground out and a walk in two trips today. The 1-0 pitch. And that's hit pretty well out to right field. It's going to send the right fielder Harrell back. He'll look up, and it's off the fence. And Peralta on his way to second base with a leadoff double. Peralta with a double to begin the sixth. And the batter, Jesse Robles. Jesse Robles. See if uh, Tucson has the bunt on here for Peralta, trying to get him to third. Robles not showing bunt on the first pitch and takes low and outside ball one. Robles walked and scored in the second. He walked again in the third. The 1-0 pitch, swinging away, pops it up in the infield on the left side, and it is the shortstop calling for it, and staying with it to put it away is Maudler. And Robles, the first out in the Badgers' sixth inning. Now Isaac Federico. Federico with an RBI single, his first time up, then a comebacker to Mill to end the third inning. Ball from Mill is outside for ball one. Banders would love to add at least one here in the sixth inning, get a little more insurance going to the seventh. The 1 0. And a breaking ball over for a strike. It's one and one. Check the runner at second base and the 1-1 pitch. And a slow tapper down the third base line. Verdugo fields in fair territory the throw away off the mark. And that will allow the runner from second Peralta to go to third base. An infield single for Federico will put runners at the corners with one out for Tyler Johnson. First off, Tyler Johnson. And time called again from the Rancho dugout. We play at the bottom of the sixth. Badgers lead two to nothing. And the first pitch to Tyler Johnson bounced in for ball one. First and third with one out. Bottom of the sixth. Badgers leading two nothing. And a chance to add at least one here in the sixth. Throw to third base and the runner back. Pitch up and in for a ball, 2-0. and oh. Mill looking in as Bornhardt goes through the signs. Now the set and the 2-0 pitch. And a fly ball. See what happens here if they'll send the runner. Allen coming in and the runner holds the throw up the line. And so Johnson flies out. Runner's not able to advance as Peralta stays at third. Federico at first. And the batter is Marco Bustamante. Catcher, Marco Bustamante. Drive the ball 
Pretty good lead over at first base for Federico. And the first pitch grounded foul on the third base side. Bustamante walked in the second, struck out in the fourth. The 0-1. And a slow ground ball. Modler will charge, field, and throw on the run to first base. And that will end the Tucson inning. So Mill able to pitch around some trouble, including a leadoff double here in the inning. And the Badgers do not score. No runs on two hits. No errors two left. After six, it's Tucson two and Rancho nothing. Now Alex Robles out to start the seventh inning for Tucson. And the first one to Eric Allen over four strike one. We'll have to go through two, three, and four in the order in the seventh. Allen, Verdugo, and McClendon. The 0-1. And that's fouled off. And it's 0-2. The wind and the 0-2. Oh, that one goes to the backstop. Allen struck out of the first, struck out again in the fourth. Two of the nine strikeouts Alex Robles has on the day. Into the wind of the one-two. And a swing and a miss, strikeout number 10. And a strikeout to begin the seventh inning as Allen is out. And the batter is Jose Verdugo. Verdugo has struck out twice. Swinging in the first, called out on strikes in the fourth, each time to end the inning. And he takes the first one low for ball one. Now swing and a miss, and it's one and one. Ground ball foul outside of third. And they count one and two. And the fastball just off the outside corner. Two balls and two strikes. For McClendon in the on deck circle for the Rams. And the one in the 2 2. Strike three called, and that's uh, back to back strikeouts now in the seventh inning for Alex Robles. He's got 11 in the ball game. And the batter is Keith for McClendon. First baseman, Keeper McClendon. Rams were just hoping to try to get a base runner to get the tying run to the plate here in the seventh inning. They got that with an infield single in the sixth, but couldn't do anything more. And a ground ball to second could do it. Melendez fields, throws, and that does it. The Tucson Badgers are the champions in the 2013 Chris Moon Memorial Cherry Field Classic. A 4-3 ground out of Kiefer McClendon ends the ball game. And what a pitching performance today from Alex Robles as he goes all seven innings, allows just one base hit, and finishes with 11 strikeouts and one walk. Faced just one over the minimum in the seven innings for uh, Robles, and uh, he gets the win. And our uh, final score, two to nothing, and the totals on the game, Rancho, no runs, one hit. No errors, one runner left on. For the Badgers, two runs on five hits. They do not commit an error. They leave seven on base. And again, the winning pitcher is Alex Robles. The loss is charged to Kiefer McClendon. And uh, we'll stay with you here to bring you the trophy presentation, but this will wrap up our play-by-play -play portion of the tournament. We want to thank uh, Tucson High School and uh, 
giving us the uh, opportunity to come down and broadcast uh, eight games in the uh, tournament. Our first time down here to cover the uh, Chris Moon Memorial Cherry Field Classic. And uh, thanks to Coach Oscar Romero for giving us the opportunity to come down. We have enjoyed our week here in Tucson, and we hope you've enjoyed the coverage we've been able to provide you. Again, we'll stay with you to bring you the trophy presentation, but that will conclude our play-by-play -play portion of the coverage. Once again, our final score, it's Tucson 2 and Rancho nothing. And uh, that will do it then for our portion from Cherry Field in Tucson. Todd Garbison for Southwest Sports Network saying so long. Congratulations to the runner-up Rancho Rams and to the 2013 champions of the Chris Moon Memorial Cherry Field Classic, the Tucson Badgers. Stay with us and we'll bring you the trophy presentation. What a great ball game tonight, uh, the championship of the Chris Moon 5th Annual. And uh, what an outstanding game it was. Uh, two ball teams, good quality young men, competing really hard and had a great week of baseball. Uh, first of all, I want to congratulate Rancho High School for an outstanding tournament. Coach Tom Pletch, thanks for bringing your group down here. You guys did an outstanding job. Hey, Rancho High School, take it back with you. Take some momentum back with you. You guys continue doing well in Vegas. One of my second best favorite towns in the, in the country, I'm telling you. All right. On behalf of uh, Tucson High and Miss Chris Moon, she'd like to present you guys with the second place trophy here for the Chris Moon 5th uh, Annual. Thank you. Rancho High School, Las Vegas, Nevada. And now for the champions for this year's 2013. I'm so proud of these young men from Tucson High representing Chris Moon and what he stood for. And uh, it's been five years. We had one opportunity uh, back actually in the first annual. We actually lost to Bishop Gorman here in a championship game. And then while well, we lost last year to uh, Ironwood Ridge. But this year was a good contest again. And uh, once again, I'm proud of all these big guys here. The, they represent Tucson High and the Big Red. Champions for this year's 2013 squad. Once again, Tucson High School. Give it up. The <laughs> electric coaching will be Mr. Morris and Mr. Shoe. Thank you, Marcia. And now we'll present uh, the championship uh, medals for each of the players. If you stand up, Felipe Peralta. Michael Peran, Emilio Melendez, the big hoss Jesse Robles, big guy in the hill Alex Robles, Miguel Figueroa. Raymond Barton, Francisco Rodriguez, Isaac Federico, Jacob Topete, Alex Romero, Hector Alcaraz, Adrian Acuna. Alexander Carillo, Gerardo Fernandez, Ivan Estrella, Ryan Norris, Kevin Samaniego, Marco Bustamante, and Tyler Johnson. Thank you very much for the Tucson High Baseball Boosters for all the hard work. All my baseball players, JV level, freshman level, all my JV freshman coaches for helping us out. And thank you fans this year for supporting the Classic here. Hope to see Rancho next year. If not, I know guys you'll come back here to Tucson, Arizona. Good luck once again. Thanks everybody.